Earlier today, scores of former and current students and staff of Borbis's oldest secondary school, the Borbis High School, assembled at their alma mater for a week of activities in celebration of the institution's 100th anniversary. Shenice Beckles reports. Barbies High School was bugging with excitement today as the school commenced its 100th anniversary celebrations. Old and present students swarmed the school to take part in the festivities. This morning, the school held a registration and meet and greet exercise and a opening session. At 7 p.m., a welcome reception was held on the lawns of State House, hosted by Region 6 Regional Chairman, Mr. David Armogan. Current headmistress of the school, Ms. Tracy Helliger, gave a brief comment. Today, Burbies High School commences the activities for its centenary anniversary, and these activities will run for six days from the 31st of August, which is today until the 5th, of September. We at Burbies High School, the staff, the students, the PTA and also members of the alumni and also past students, we are proud that we can celebrate 100 years in this prestigious but noble institution of learning. We are asking members of the community, stakeholders, and all well wishes of Burbies High School to come out and support us as we celebrate this wonderful once in a lifetime activity. Former and current students of the 100 year old school share their excitement about being a part of history. It's dawn, I from the class of 1963. Very happy to be here. Lots and lots of memories. I keep thinking of the number of teachers who have influenced my life, like uh, Lycan, Mr. Rampoli, Mrs. Cooper, Mr. Maloney, Mr. Maloney. The fact that I have flown miles from here says it all. I don't think I have to say it anymore. I think that tells you how proud I am. I came all the way from New York, so. Class of 200 years anniversary and so therefore I think that this centenary celebration it is very very important and for those who don't think it is so important come out and be here you will be a part of history and you, you want to be recorded as being here for the centenary celebration so I am overwhelmed well as a student of Borbisa I really, really am very proud because this is one of the most oldest school in the country and it's just a really nice feeling to be a part of this celebration at this school because it's just that our school is older than kindness and kindness and that's just amazing. The current students then invited this new cast for a first hand look of their steel pan warm up session for the celebration. Roxanne Thomas Elaine, 
former student of the school and a member of the organizing committee for the centenary celebrations, gave details of the events. I graduated in 1983. I am a part of the organizing committee for the centenary celebrations. And today, it's the registration process. Now, the registration process had begun before today because we were encouraging current and previous students to register online. So far, we have had about 150 persons who would have registered online. And in the classroom here, we have 35 persons so far. Now, the registration process is ongoing until the end of the centenary celebrations. And it is important that all students be registered because what we will do, we will use our information and upload it to our database so that at any point in time we can check to find out what is happening with all the students. Now for today's celebration, we're going to have a meet and greet where all the students who are here will meet together and they will greet each other. Then we will break off and we will have discussions about the reunion activities. After that, we will go to the various classrooms based on the houses you were in. So when Barbies High School first started, there were three houses, Scrimger, Mackay, and Pugsley. But over time, they have increased to six houses. So you also have Bihari, Cooper, and the Castro. She went on to say, On Thursday, we are going to have a trade fair, book fair, and so we're encouraging all students to come out because they can have career guidance as well. And later on in the afternoon from 4 to 6, there will be a cultural extravaganza in the auditorium. On Friday, we're going to have a day of sports to be held at the Burbies High School ground. And all the students are encouraged to be here because you will have the older persons, the senior members of the school versus the current members and those who would have graduated in the last five years. On Saturday, we are going to have the dinner, the gala dinner and ball. It will be held in the Burbies High School Auditorium. And you must have registered to be involved and to be a part of this. On Sunday, we're going to have a Thanksgiving service in the auditorium, commencing from 8.30 in the morning. And after that, we have completed, we're going to have a tour that is going to go to Nantasad in the quarantine, a tour to Pisco Skeldon Estate, and then we'll visit the 63 Beach and also the Spring Lawn Stelling. On Monday, it's the big day. It is centenary day because Burbies High School was opened the first time on the 5th of September 1916 and so here it is centenary day the 5th of September 2016. The day's proceedings will begin at 9 o'clock and the President of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana will be giving the feature address. Past and current students are urged to take advantage of this once in a lifetime celebration. Shinis Beckles reporting for our Channel 8 News.